Hey Kapil. So I, I designed a little roof system to illustrate this. I initially started off by having some drawings that were much too complicated. I had this one here and then this one to scale. I got some trigonometry involved. But that was all based on side lengths and that just gets too messy because you don't know where and I don't know where the, si the solar panel is going to end up staying. So with this, this is set up so that you could use this same type of uh, technique to find the angle measurements and to find out how much you're going to have to clamp down on that L bracket or open it up in order to make the, make it the solar panel perpendicular um, to the L bracket. Um, so if we could have my lovely assistant bring in the solar panel, what happens is that the, the angle measurement here gets larger and larger as the solar panel goes down and, and this one gets smaller and smaller and vice versa as it goes the other way. So what you need to do is figure out well, where are you going to place the solar panel. And, and whether the panel is lifted up here or down here, it's going to be parallel to the actual line of the triangle that's formed by the solar panel that's laying flat. So it's okay if this is going to be lifted up. The degree measurement is going to be the same. This me angle here and this angle up here are the key angles. What ends up happening is that this angle, if this was our little L bracket, and we ended up installing it here, this would be perpendicular to the solar panel. And what we need to do is that if the L bracket were facing this way, you need to subtract from 90 degrees this angle. And if the L bracket's facing this way, you need to open up the L bracket by this many degrees, which is the same as this, this whole degree measure, and add this many degrees to 90 degrees. Um, Honestly, I think I, I think pushing down the L bracket is going to be easier. So if you have the L bracket facing this way, um, your resulting angle is going to be 90 degrees minus the angle here. And it actually works the same up top, but it will be for a different degree measurement. So you'll actually need to get this top angle measurement. And if the L bracket's facing up here, then you'll need to subtract 90, uh, that degree from 90, 90 degrees. And if it's facing this way, you'll need to add um, 90, the degree to 90 degrees. Hope this helps.